I'm Susan Krauscher, and I'm President and CEO of the Christ Hospital. It's a pleasure to welcome you here today to celebrate what we believe is a historic first for our region and for a large number of people who today don't have many options when it comes to the treatment of a life-threatening heart condition. The Christ Hospital has a long history when it comes to research and bringing new advances in heart care to greater Cincinnati. Much has changed since our first open heart surgery back in 1969 when patients could expect to spend weeks in the hospital instead of days. In 1980, the Christ Hospital pioneered the use of balloon angioplasty to clear blocked arteries. In 1987, the first automatic implantable defibrillator in Greater Cincinnati was placed here. We were the first in the region to offer minimally invasive open heart surgery in 1995. And in 2003, the Christ Hospital was a major research participant and one of the few sites in the U.S. to test the first FDA-approved drug-eluting stent. <clears throat> These are just a few of the firsts that make the Christ Hospital Greater Cincinnati's Heart Hospital. And today we add another first in research that could offer hope to patients for whom open heart surgery simply isn't an option and for whom the need for treatment is critical. It's my honor to now introduce the medical director of the Christ Hospital Heart and Vascular Center and the Carl and Edith Lindner Center for Research and Education, Dr. Dean Kariakis. Thank you very much, Susan. You know, I'm very privileged to announce the participation of the Christ Hospital and the Lindner Center for Research and Education in the Partner 2 clinical research trial, which is evaluating the Edward Sapien catheter-based balloon expandable stent-mounted bioprosthetic heart valve for the treatment of symptomatic severe aortic valve stenosis in patients who are either high risk and or not candidates for traditional open heart surgical valve replacement. This revolutionary medical technology utilizes a catheter which is usually inserted into the body through a leg artery and provides non-surgical valve replacement. Aortic stenosis is one of the two most common heart valve problems in the United States, and it ranks amongst the top five Medicare cardiac diagnoses. The prevalence of aortic stenosis increases with age and affects almost 10% of individuals who are 80 years or older. Traditionally, symptomatic aortic stenosis has been treated by open heart surgical valve replacement. Such surgery may be associated with considerable morbidity and mortality, particularly in elderly, frail individuals who have coexisting medical problems. It is therefore frequently not offered to symptomatic patients because of these concerns. The Edward Sapien valve offers a less invasive, non-surgical alternative for heart valve replacement. This technology, which is not yet US FDA approved for general use, is now available through the Partner Clinical Research Trial to appropriately selected patients in 23 U.S. medical centers. The Christ Hospital is the only center to offer this therapy between the Cleveland Clinic and Emory University in Atlanta. We are currently enrolling and treating patients who are not surgical candidates, those patients at prohibitively high risk for surgery with the Edward Sapien valve we will soon begin the next phase of Partner 2, together with the other U.S. centers, which will evaluate high-risk patients who are acceptable candidates for surgical valve replacement. These patients will be randomly assigned to treatment with either the Edwards transcatheter valve or surgery. Transcatheter aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, as it has become known, is a major medical advance, and we are fortunate to have access to this technology in Cincinnati at the Christ Hospital. I cannot <coughs> overstate the incredible degree of preparation and multidisciplinary team approach that has been required on the part of the Christ Hospital, its medical staff, and personnel to bring this technology to Cincinnati. The interventional cardiologists involved have included myself and Dr. Ian Serenbach. The cardiac surgeons have included 
doctors Jeffrey and Sweeney, Tom Ivey and Donald Mitz, a cardiac imaging specialist involved have included doctors Wojciech Mazur and Greg Clark. The anesthesiology has been led by Dr. David Wright and includes doctors Don Rathel and Sally Helton. Vascular radiology has been provided by Dr. Dan Long. Mary Wagner, RN, the director of the Cardiac Catheterization Laboratory at the Christ Hospital, has been instrumental in this process, as has been Lisa Lockhart, the clinical nurse coordinator for the TABR program. This program would not be possible without the exceptional nursing staff in the catheterization laboratory, the cardiovascular intensive care unit, and the step-down units, as well as the integral involvement of speech and physical therapy, occupational therapy, and social services. The institutional commitment to this program begins at the top with Mr. Glenn Mayfield and the uh, board of directors of the Christ Hospital, Susan Croucher, the chief executive officer, and Chris Thompson, the executive director of the Heart and Vascular Center. This project would not have been possible without the expert guidance of Linda Martin, RN MBA, executive director of the Carl and Edith Linder Center for Research and Education, as well as the Linder Research Staff. This has truly been a monumental collaborative effort. Thank you for your attention.